be with you this morning. Are you glad to be here? We ask you again, are you glad to be here? Amen. Uh, God is going to do great things today. You know, if we come in that sense of anticipation and expectation, He's waiting for us. He is waiting here for you. He was here long before you even roll out of bed. And He was ready to meet with you here. So we're going to stand this morning. We're going to, uh, we're going to invite Him to be here. The, Lord, the Bible says that God inhabits the praise of His people. Do you believe that? So that means when we praise Him with our lives, when we lift Him up with our voices, God inhabits that praise. And so we want His presence to be here. So we're going to praise Him this morning. And I would encourage you to sing out with me. Let's sing together. This song talks about the splendor and the glory of God. Let's sing it together.
May you be exalted and may you be present in this place. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Take a minute. Let's turn around and welcome one another this morning in the name of our Father. adept scan the QR code uh, in the bulletin and uh, just fill out some basic information. Let us know that you were here uh, so that we can uh, uh, just say thank you for being here with us and uh, let you know about that. Also let you know on the fourth Sunday of every month we do have a special uh, connection center that will be out here in the lobby and if you're new each month, one of the new uh, folks each month, we encourage you to stop by on that fourth Sunday. We have a, a gift, a discipleship resource we'd like to share with you and some other things. So kind of keep that in mind as we go forward in the future. Um, but it is so great to have you here. It's great to have my voice back. All right. I lost my voice last week, but thankfully the Lord knew that ahead of time. And so he planned us a great youth service. And so I didn't really have to do any talking. But I will tell you that as I sat there uh, last week and wasn't able to sing, I really missed being able to sing praises to our God. Right? I was singing in my heart, but to be able to voice that was really difficult. So I hope that you take every opportunity today and for in the future as we sing together. Recognize that is a gift from God. He's given to you. Uh, one of the ways that we can, can give praise back to him is through using our voices. So I'm thankful to have mine back and uh, thankful to be able to use it with you this morning. We've got a lot going on. Uh, here, there's a lot of ways to connect in our church, uh, for whether it's from the, the youngest of age all the way up to our, our uh, most senior people here. I uh, want to let you know about uh, midweek Come to the Water service that takes place here on Wednesday nights. And if you haven't been a part of that, you're missing out. So that takes place on Wednesdays at 6 o'clock. There's information in the bulletin about that. Lots of opportunities for kids, but we do need some teachers for our kids. A preschool teacher is needed, so uh, I would encourage you, if you haven't... Uh, had an opportunity to volunteer in the children's area yet, uh, pray about that. Maybe you served in the past and you stepped away for a while. Maybe it's time for you to get involved again and uh, help out our children's. Uh, our teens could always use uh, some good volunteers too. So I want to make you aware of that. A couple other things too to make you aware of. Uh, last week were elections for our new church board. So if you look in the bulletin, you can find that in the bulletin online or you might have a paper copy. Um, I just want to read through them real quick. Our new buildings and grounds chair is Mark Fowler. Is Mark here this morning? No. All right, he's not here. Okay, he's not here this morning. Uh, church life, Sandy Williams. Is she in the, in the room? She's right back there. Okay, Sandy, let's say congratulations. Uh, stewardship and finance, Dean Cates. Dean, there he's in the back there. Yeah. Uh, our at-large member is uh, David Kennel. David, where you at? He's back there. Okay. They're out the back. Uh, our NYI president is Megan Williamson. I know she's, where she, she's not here either. She's not feeling good. And then uh, NYI president is Sue Harris, and she's also a uh, not even this morning. So we want to welcome them and say thank you for their service, and that it is a great responsibility we have. And we've had great boards over the years, and we're really looking forward to working with uh, this board.
forward in this coming year. So looking forward to that. Well, without further ado, I want to get on to uh, one of my favorite things uh, in the church time together and as a pastor is the dedication of children. So I'm going to invite Brandon and Jesse Boshaw to bring uh, Magnolia up here, and their family's going to be coming with them. So come on up, folks. Pastor Brenda's going to come up also. She is our children's pastor. You guys can stand down this way. She is our children's pastor, and so she's going to introduce the Boshaws and Magnolia. Family, come on down here. There you go. Great to have you guys here. I'll keep scooting down. We'll keep making room. All right. Go ahead, Pastor Brenda. Oh, we didn't grab it. It's right here in the front. Yep, sorry. So glad to introduce Brandon and Jesse. We got to know them in the, I think it's been about two and a half years that we've got to know them here. And um, would you like to tell us something your family really likes to do together? Do you have something to tell us? Put them on the spot, right? Oh, yeah, go to the zoo. Well, when you got a little one now, you know that's priority is going to the zoo. But we're glad to have them with us to worship and their example to us as believers. And we're also glad to introduce you to Magnolia Grace. Is that the one? Magnolia Grace, make sure I got that one right. But we are so excited to have them here, and I hope you will get to know them. And say, make sure you talk to them in the foyer and say hi now that you know this is Brandon and Jesse and Magnolia. All right, I'm going to come down here, so... Um... <coughs> All right. It says this in Matthew 19. It says, Then people brought little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and to pray for them. But the disciples rebuked them. Jesus said, Let the little children come to me. Do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Children are an example to us of faith, of trust, of what it means to, to have complete confidence as a child does in her parents. Uh, that we should have that kind of faith in our Father and love Him. So Jesus used the, shared them as an example. He loved the children. In presenting this child for dedication, you signify not only your faith in the Christian religion, but also your desire that she may early know and follow the will of God, may live and die a Christian, and come unto everlasting blessedness. In order to attain this holy end, it will be your duty as parents to teach her early the fear of the Lord. To watch over her education. So important these days. Not just education school, but Christian education and what they're learning is uh, what God wants them to know is consistent with God's word and his truth. Um, to direct her youthful mind to the holy scriptures and her feet to the sanctuary. That means being here when the opportunity presents itself for you guys and for her to be in church together. To restrain her from evil associates and habits. That means uh, we have, as parents, we have responsibility over who our children are friends with, right? Friends can have a great influence on the direction of your child's life. Uh, and as much as in you lies to bring her up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Will you, Jesse and Brandon, do so by the help of God? If so, answer, we will. Right, awesome. And now I ask the congregation, because it's not just... Uh, when, we, when we dedicate a child to the Lord, it's not just uh, the parents. It's the whole church coming together. I ask you, will you commit yourself as the body of Christ to support and encourage these parents as they endeavor to fulfill their responsibility to this child and to assure, assist by nurturing her growth towards spiritual maturity? If so, and very carefully now, because this means that you'll, you'll do whatever it takes to see our children grow from the Lord. If so, respond, we will. Yeah. Well, all right, we'll hold you to it. <laughs> Did you hear that, Pastor Brian? Yeah. Okay, all right. So you heard them all. They all said we will. All right, well, I'm going to take my phone here. Now, I babysat her one day, so she kind of knows me, and I have a beard, which helps, I think. So she was really good for me one day. She's so sweet. Okay, we're going to pray quick. We're going to pray quick. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, this morning, I dedicate Magnolia Grace to you in the name of the Father. The Son and the Holy Spirit. God, we bring her before you. Her parents have brought her before you in the full confidence and trust that you are our good Heavenly Father. And they want her life to be overshadowed by you every step of the way. And so we, we bring her before you. We know that you have great plans for her life. 
We know, Lord, you have something special in store for her. We know, Lord, you've gifted her and equipped her. Uh, you're preparing her even now and the family that you've placed her in for, for great things. And so, Lord, we dedicate her to you. We place her in your hands. We have confidence that you will overshadow her, watch over her, protect her, that you will shape her heart and her mind and draw her close to you. Lord, I pray for Brandon and for Jesse that you would help them as parents. Parenting can be so challenging and uh, sometimes exhausting. Uh, God, and in this world we live in, God, even so difficult because the world has so many confusing messages. And so, Lord, I pray that you'd give them wisdom beyond their years, uh, stamina and energy and strength, Lord, uh, even beyond their years. God, help them as they raise Magnolia that, that they will make a commitment to place you first. Uh, to bring her here so that she can learn and grow, but more than that, at home, that they will raise her to know and to love you. Strengthen their marriage, protect them, protect their marriage, protect their, their family. And uh, Lord, we're excited for what you're going to do in their lives. Looking forward to watching Magnolia grow up. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Good job. She even grabbed my beard during the prayer, so. <laughs> See? That's good. All right. So I've got a certificate for you. You guys can keep that. And Pastor Brenda has a, a gift for her. Stories about God, but we want her to be able to know the difference between just storybooks and the story of what God has given us to live by. So we present that to you. All right, let's welcome Magnolia. Let's go ahead and continue in worship. Uh, we're going to invite the ushers to come forward now at this time and receive God's tithes and our offerings. Would you bow your heads with me in prayer? Father, it is good to be in your house today. It's good to be in your presence. It's good to be here with uh, other believers and to be able to worship you and to sing your praises and to know, God, that you are here. It's good, Lord, to be here together and to see parents who love you and who want their children to know the same salvation, the same love, the, the same guidance and direction, God, that only you can offer. And uh, they're making that commitment this day. Lord, there's so many good things we have. We could give you praise uh, all day long. And, and we want to continue in worship this morning. But Lord, as we continue in worship by giving of our tithes and offerings, we ask that you would just grow in us a, a deeper, more profound trust in you as our provider. Uh, as the one who, who watches over us. Lord, we also ask and we trust that you will take these, these gifts and these tithes that we bring, Lord, and you would use them to reach people with the hope of the gospel here in the South Bend area and around the world. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's stand together. We'll continue singing the praises of our Lord this morning. I encourage you to sing out with us this morning. Let's put our hands together. Come on. Let's worship this morning. Let's lift them up with our praise.
morning as we sing about Christ, our cornerstone, the one who's our foundation. Let's lift him up with our praises this morning.
physical healing. She's asking for your mercy. She's expressed that, God. She's asking for your mercy. We know you have a great plan of healing for her in mind, ultimate, heal ultimate healing. God, we do ask for your hand of mercy upon her life. We pray that even in um, this time that she would be um, bold to proclaim your message to all who interact with her for her life. We also lift up Len and Connie Holt this morning as Len is in the hospital right now and doctors are working to discern um, how to help him. God, we pray that you would bring to their minds and to their hands the knowledge and the skills that they need, God. We pray that you would comfort them, protect them from fear, let them rest in you, Lord, they know you, you know them. Let them feel your presence even now, right now. Lord, I also lift up Julie Brown, her dear sister, who you have already begun a work of healing in her body. We thank you for restoring her speech. God, let her use her voice to glorify you, Lord. Be with her family as they support her. Give them what they need to bring about the resources she needs. God, help her to know that she is loved. Help them to know that they are loved by you and by us. Lord, there are so many more. You know the need of each one. God, would you touch each need that we have in this room? Those we love. Father, as we prepare to hear our, your message today, I pray that you would embolden Pastor Andy, help him to speak only your truth. Repet protect our minds from distraction. God, break down strongholds. There are things we need to hear, God. Would you prevent just the circumstances of the air, prevent it from distracting us. Allow us to hear your word. And even more than that, God, I pray that when we leave today, that that word would take root and grow. That we would use it for your glory, for your honor, for the purposes of building your kingdom. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name.